Oh you boy, what I just watched. Yeah, it's me, welcome back. It took a lot of time for me to make my return, I know. But what a time and what a topic to return for. Last night, Kylian Mbappe really proved that he really deserves a chance at Real Madrid and, and he really deserves to wear that Real Madrid's jersey. I watched the whole game and I'm honest with you that uh, Barca really didn't look like a team which was hungry for winning. In fact, it was not a very aggressive start from PSG as well. 9 out of 10 for Mbappe. 9 out of 10 for Verratti. They were absolutely brilliant last night. Verratti was the one who made that vital interception against Griezmann in the first half. And uh, he was the one who settled that first goal for Mbappe as well. Moise Kane was the third player I want to write in this game. He was brilliant not just in the first half but in the second half as well. And he scored a goal as well. But there are certain things I want to say after reacting to the match. So let's get into it. This was a chance which he shouldn't have missed, Icardi. He shouldn't have missed that one. It was... what a ball that was. I was talking about this tackle. Now, t now tell me how on earth this is a penalty. Kurzawa was just watching the ball and De Jong was the one who made that contact. I think he lost his footing but, but it was a penalty that was given on another occasion there was a handball on I think um, Moise Kane was there and it was a handball and it was not given a penalty I will say it was a penalty which was not given and the referee was in front of them VAR is so stupid I don't know where it really works but what a wonderful solo penalty from Messi <laughs> if you're gonna miss that Dembele. Dembele was so awful last night in terms of shooting and this first goal his footing was so perfect I, I watched him most of the time Mbappe doesn't shoot that much high in the net he always tried to keep the ball low but last night on all three occasions all three shots were perfect good try it was actually a good chance as far the ball was with Icardi There is nothing changed for Gerard Piquet. First he used to watch Ronaldo's goal from inside the net. And last night he watched Mbappe's goal from inside the net. Unstoppable. No chance for him to stop that one. It was a good header. That last counter attack was so perfect. If I was the manager of PSG, I should have benched Icardi and, and would have given an opportunity either to Sarabia or to Draxler because they've got pace, they are creative as well and uh, still it just went in PSG's way. The attack was pretty slow but still they managed to score 4 goals which is something I was not expecting 4 goals honestly. This picture should be on the cover of FIFA 22. <laughs> It was glorious. I'm not going to mock Barca because I know Real Madrid is also in action against Atalanta and their attack is... Um... But they know they're not going to repeat that 6-1. It's not going to happen. Neymar was out and Mbappe filled that spot perfectly. Maybe with him they would have had a lot of fights with Dest on that side and he could have fouled him all the time. Four years ago the same was the scoreline. The, the only difference is that this time Barca is having a goal in their hand. And uh, for me they shouldn't have been given that penalty. Follow me on Instagram. See you.